kids. I almost went Disneyland. Nope. Universal Studios. That's right. Queen Rachel is driving us to Universal. We're gonna try all the vegan options that they have there. I've looked ahead and let me tell you, there's not a lot of options, but we're gonna try all the ones we can in the meantime. Hopefully they're good. I'm not actually that upset that there aren't an insane amount. As Aria just said, it's probably the first time I've ever been okay with there not being a ton of vegan options because the ranking of Disneyland was exhausting. But we're gonna hit them all. We're gonna hit them hard. Let's go. Woohoo! We have a fashionista in the back. Four tea. Is that a joke on purpose? Maybe, maybe this whole section is teas. Oh, maybe not actually, it. that's for you. I don't know about you, Rachel, but I see a few witches and wizards around. Do you think they know we're both Hufflepuffs? You're a Ravenclaw, aren't you? No, why do you think I'm a Ravenclaw? <laughs> I don't know, I think I, you might I be. I think I'm half Gryffindor. Oh, Gryffindor. No, well, I not, started I'm this. I'm not done, I'm not oh, done. Oh, God. Half Gryffindor, half Hufflepuff. That's I'm a I Hufflepuff am. Gryffindor rising, I think. <laughs> I want to thank today's sponsor. Green Chef. Green Chef is a CCOF certified organic meal kit company with options for every lifestyle like keto, paleo, vegetarian, vegan, fast and fit, Mediterranean, and gluten free. Let's look at today's box they sent me. I'm gonna try the breaded cauliflower and peanut sauce tacos. I love Green Chef because they're constantly changing and rotating their menu. So you're not just getting the same stuff over and over and over again. I have found some new actual favorite meals through Green Chef just by discovering new recipes through them. It's also really helpful when you're hungover and you don't want to do anything and you just want to have like an elevated meal without any of the hassle. Green Chef is the only meal kit delivery service that is both carbon and plastic offset. So if you're curious about Green Chef and you want to help support the channel, go ahead and click the link in my description and use my code MERL60 to get 60% off and free shipping on your first box. Go to greenchef.com for more details. Thank you again so much, Green Chef. All right, let's get back to the video. It doesn't look like that secret ingredient noodle soup. Why does it have a plant next to it? There's plants. Ooh, let's fucking go. They're vegetarians. Oh, we'll see if they can be made vegan. Yeah. First of all, I get to have ramen for breakfast, apparently, which is all I ever want in my life. Yes. I love how there's four little pieces of tofu on this. We need to cherish them. That's a good portion. Look at this. So we've got the secret ingredient noodle soup, and then we've got the cold sesame noodle soup with four precious fried tofu cubes. <laughs> what do you want to try first? You know I want the ramen. Okay. Okay. We'll do that first. It's pretty good. I think the secret ingredient is a little bit of salt. You need a little more. Eh. Yeah. It's not bad. No. It kind of tastes like instant ramen. I was I was gonna say it, it tastes like exactly like instant ramen. <laughs> like maybe it actually is instant ramen and they just dumped it out in here. How much did it cost? Oh. The broth is nothing to write home about, I'll tell you that much. But it's not terrible, it's just like nothing special. We shouldn't fill ourselves up on something mediocre. No, no, it's definitely not special. I also like wouldn't get ramen if I was going to a theme park. <laughs> Probably true, but That's I am. True. I was grateful to see it was an option. They make mm -hmm. it look so much better on the freaking sign. So the way we're ranking these foods is S, A, B, C, D, F. I'm a fan, Merle, I'm aware. <laughs> S is superb, A is awesome. B is, that's pretty good. C is, eh, I don't really care, I could do without it. D is, that is not good. And F is, the vegans have gone too far. I also just have to say, I don't love the idea of the hot soup being in the black plastic, because black plastic is not good for you. I Chemicals didn't, will leach out. I didn't know about that. the secret ingredient in the noodle oh. soup. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the cold sesame noodle. What are these of my giant tweezers? Oh my god, this spray is the sesame spray. A little preview for you to splash them out. Yeah. That's in Disneyland. Oh. <laughs> I don't really like them, like bitter. Yeah, the underneath part is better. This oh, yeah. stuff on top is weird. But I will say, there's like no flavor. No, there's not. It's very bland. The tofu cube is unreal. Mmm. Right? Oh my god. So the tofu is okay. amazing. Now I know why there's more. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. They're precious morsels. It's some of the best tofu I've ever had. Yeah, it's really good. Do you want to try one? Okay, let's rank these. Okay. Between a B and a C. So I'm like, it's good. It kind of tastes like instant ramen. I'm gonna give it a C. Okay, wow. Rachel's I like it, it Rachel. C. I did not like it. It tastes like instant ramen that someone microwaved and dumped in there. See, it keeps going in for to more. To be fair, Merle likes ramen more than I, I do. do. 
So I'm probably going to give it a B. Have I had better ramen? I absolutely have. Am I happy I paid $14 for this? I'm really not. Also, who wants ramen at a freaking theme park? Okay, I do. I want ramen everywhere. The cold sesame noodle. I'm going to give this a B as well. I'm going to give this a B. This B can go ahead of this B. This is a B minus. The noodles super bland, but the tofu, some of the best tofu. So good. And we've had a lot of tofu people. Perfect. Don't bitch and moan it. <laughs> She's taking little bird bites of each one and going, this is bland, this is man, this sucks. <laughs> and it's true, I'm just gonna be honest. I agree, I agree. Straight from the horse's mouth. There it is, that's the horse's mouth, right there. I wanna justify why I gave this a B, cause often when one person ranks lower, the other person feels insecure about it. <laughs> and that's just a fact. I love ramen so much that even instant meh ramen is still okay for me because I love ramen. Just need to clarify. Oh. I'm too scared to approach them, but I love them. Said hi to me and I want to cry. Did you really? Yes! He's probably a fan. No, he's not. I said Shaggy goes, that's yes, me. It's the best that's thing ever. That's the fan I've ever heard. Oh my god, they're so cool. They would never talk to me. Shaggy did. I'm intimidated. I'm too intimidated to talk to any of you. Okay, we have to say hi to Shrek. Do we? Yes. I'm scared of them all. <laughs> Shrek! Don't you dare, Rachel. We love you, Shrek! Merle loves you, Shrek! Rachel! Oh my God. <laughs> you guys know there's two reasons I brought Rachel. One is because she's my best friend. Aww. Whoops. The other is that <laughs> she has the nose of a bloodhound. I do. I can smell vegan. out the vegan options. I can make vegan options out of nothing. It's true. She can rub a couple rocks together and it just turns into a Beyond Sausage. <laughs> Also, Rachel's gonna help me conquer my fear of characters. Oh yeah, she's scared of Shrek. She, she, she just wants to be friends with Shaggy and Romo. So badly, but they're too cool, you know? Frankenstein and his bride? How do you talk to them? Frankenstein did intimidate me. He was also like eight feet tall. He did scare me a little bit. But that makes me want him all the more. One of these days, I will say hello to someone. If we see Shaggy and them again, I'm getting a photo. Mark my words. Are we gonna get a margarita? I guess I could dabble. Yes! Rachel's happy because they have a differentiation between vegetarian and vegan. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's nice. They look the same. Rachel the Bloodhound, what did we order <laughs> at this cocina? Okay, so we got the sopes with um, yeah. Beyond Meat Al Pastor. We did not get the uh, rice or the beans because those were cooked with, I believe, chicken stock. We did get the chips and guacamole, even though those were not labeled vegan. That needs to be updated, Universal. We got a little margarita treat. Yay. I'm excited. Me too. I've been waiting for just a moment like this because I saved the little plastic utensils I get sometimes. And we need them because they didn't give us any. Which is kind of great, I guess, from a sustainability standpoint. But I don't think everyone here has a reasonable fork. I also misspoke because they did give us beans. They just swapped them out and gave us black beans. Yeah, so this is the sope. These beans look like they've been through it. <laughs> These beans are going to be us. Awesome. They look like they've been, yeah, they're the end of being out in the sun. Oh, they're good. Damn. Flavorful. Beans. Those beans are very good. Although this is deceptively clear. This is a margarita. It looks like a water cup. Yeah, those are some salty beans. Oh, yeah, like, oh wow. How is, how is this? Is it refreshing? This is a diluted margarita. For sure. It's like, I think this is half water. I need water. Half of that one. I can barely taste the, the, the alcohol. Good thing that we paid $14 Ooh, for it. Oh, look at this. Look at how cool this is. Oh, yeah. What is this? It's a sope. I might be saying it completely wrong. How is it? I need to pick it up with my Oh, That's good. Wait, shit. They put sour cream on it. But I asked her to make it vegan for us. So maybe it is? Okay, we asked for these vegan that they came with sour cream. So I think people, just some people don't know that that's dairy. Fucking A, man. Can't we just enjoy our $14 overpriced meal? Mmm, look at this though. These pineapple bites? I don't care for this part. I like the alpastor a lot. Yeah. And I like the pineapple a lot. The alpastor is very good. Very, very, good. very, very good. What is that? It's a sope. Stale. No, um, I'm not happy with it. not stale. I think it's good. I don't like it. I like this meal. I think I'd give this meal an A. I think this is pretty damn good. The El Pastor really cranks it up. The beans are salty and delicious. Yeah. And hell, we got a margarita. They lose points with sour cream. So if you order a vegan version, make sure to make sure they don't put sour cream on it. Honestly, as far as options go, I'm not gonna give it an S. It's not blowing my mind. But this is creative. They didn't just slap a freaking Beyond Burger and, and call it a day. I would also give this an A. I think this is very good. Margarita is just water. It's a water Rita. The chips and guac are confirmed vegan. The guac is fine. The chips are fine. 
Look at her guacamole on this plate. No. Is it frozen? <laughs> it's a as a rock. I'm still keeping my A. <laughs> I mean, I'll keep the A too, but it's A minus. This is a generous A. The chips and guac, I'd rate like a B. It's fine. Chips and guac is a is a B. Thirteen ninety nine. This was fourteen dollars. This was that not was a good fourteen deal. bucks. Don't make me question anything I do. Try this or die. <laughs> I should really like that a lot. We've been drinking this and we've both come to terms with the fact that this is the worst margarita we've ever had. I still give the food an A though. The food gets an A, the margarita gets an F. The vegans have gone too far. Sister soul, sister go, sister flow, sister hey, sister soul, sister. Nothing here at the Minion Cafe, sadly. Yeah, fruit. Yeah, fruit. You think that's what I fucking want right now? Huh? This is vegan. What is it? It's a vegetarian protein box. I don't want this. It's a vegan banh mi. Yes. 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 I know that's what they like, the two of them. Yeah, we do. I like do them. too. Okay, so now we stopped at the Palace Cafe in Delhi, and we've got a pre-made sandwich. Aria is the one who spotted the data vegan banh mi. They also had a fruit cup, which is a slap in my face, and they also had a hummus protein. That's also a slap in my face. Oh, no, it's, oh, a, it's, it's a, a rat. <laughs> Wait, let's go look at the inside. What the hell? Are you kidding me? That is gnarly. Are you kidding oh, me? Look at this bread. It's liquid. <laughs> I'm kidding. $14. $14.22. This is why people don't want to eat vegan food. Because this is the option. Where's the tofu or anything in here? It's like, I'd say it's nice to have a vegan option, but this is a... That's, 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 that's why we're hoping it's a piece of salami. No, I'm just kidding. It tastes like soggy bread. F. 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 That's $14.22 I'm never getting back. Also, it looked like the jalapeno on there was like actually bad. Like there's no life left in this zucchini. It's lifeless. I, I don't have a lot of trust that everything in this sandwich isn't is okay to eat. Oh my god, I, it looks like it's been sitting out for and too still. fucking long. The jalapeno is on the verge of death. It's dead. Uh, Rachel's upset. So we do it for you. I am Good upset course. because that was expensive. Yeah, it was almost fifteen dollars for literally old bread <sighs> in this shitty fucking turnip. I, I gotta be I gotta be honest, when I, I when I saw the description for it, I was not I did not have high I didn't moves. I didn't read the description. I got excited because I love vegan bombing. This is insulting. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we just went to Mel's Diner and we got beer. We got the Beyond Burger burger. They did have a vegan milkshake that was like a coconut cream. It was like a vegan float. Root beer flow, I think. Root flow. float. Yeah, but sadly it was sold out, but also not sad because that means there's demand. Yes, because it's devastating. It's kind of crazy it's sold out though. That's like, I was kind of surprised by that. It's good news, Rachel. Yes, people are buying the vegan milkshake. What about me? I want the vegan milkshake. So there's a top hat on this Beyond There's Burger. some weird stuff happening here. First of all, what the hell is this? <laughs> what is this? I've seen Genevieve cough that up before. Oh my god, do not put that in my head. Wait, what? It's pickles. Are, it looks like it's fried are pickles. Are these fried pickles? I think they're fried pickles. Oh, okay, that's amazing. Okay. It's looking more like a Beyond Burger Oh yeah, get those fingers. Now. Jab those in there, please. Oh my please, god. Please. Uh, Fun thing to know about Rachel. She loves to touch her food, specifically when I'm eating it. We'd also like to know. The french fries are vegetarian, whatever that means. So maybe there's like milk powder in it? I don't know. Yeah, so that means Ari can eat those. I also feel like there was supposed to be vegan mayonnaise on this, but I don't see any. These buns look like they were made 55 years ago. They look old buckwheat buns. <laughs> I'll withhold my judgment until you eat. You didn't get any fresh buns suck. No, I didn't. Oh, wow. Big Again. bite. Lucky gentleman in her life. <laughs> <laughs> See, like that one. Let's get, let's play that back. Lucky gentleman in her life. It tastes like a Beyond Burger with a buckwheat bun and it's dry. The burger is a little dry too. The bun will sap the life right out of you. It's all been cooked to a crisp. But it's still tasty. Oh, I it like is the, good. the fried pickle's really good. You guys, that's a good fried pickle. Yeah, and it's spicy. I want more. Creeping up into the A category. I kind of like. I was just gonna say. I think the buns suck and they're dry, but burgers overcooked as well. However, 
they added their own little touch with the fried pickle and they're spicy. So I'm gonna give this an A. I think we're also swayed by the fact that we like Beyond Burgers too. We do. We do like Beyond Burgers. This is probably a B, right? But I'm giving it an A because the pickle. I'm trying to figure out. Why am I eating so much of this? We have to eat all day. Wait, there's also vegan cheese. Where? I don't know. I just tasted it though. Oh, there's no vegan cheese. But I just tasted some. <laughs> In a weird spot in the middle. The frickles make it an A. I need there a I said. I, I want to give it a B plus. I I, I want to give it a B plus too. Can I do that? Me too. Yeah. B okay. plus. B plus. A minus. Rising. Because it had so much potential. If they would just clean up their act a little bit, mm -hmm. it would be an easy A. Emma Stone. You know what? No. I'm gonna give it a B this because this whole video is gonna be about this burger. <laughs> the fucking French fries are vegetarian. They're not vegan, and that sucks. True. B. What is happening? I'm scared. That's what's happening. <laughs> Look at my dorks. Before I piss it all, we just had a Beyond Burger, and this is going to be the most basic ass Beyond Burger I guarantee you. We just waited 35 minutes in line for this crusty burger. It is crusty. It is crusty as hell. Like, I thought you were just calling it a crusty burger. You know, the place is crusty <laughs> burger and the bun is also, I think, been with this planet for about 35 years. But at least it has vegan ace. They're, you know, pickles, tomatoes, lettuce, and $16. Just a clean 16. Honestly, the vegan, the, the mayonnaise makes it for me. Oh, you didn't try I, I know, I know, but it, it makes a big difference. I mean, yeah, look, it looks wet. Which is better than how crunchy and crusty the last one was. The bun is so bad. It's literally a fucking brick of a bun. I know. It's been out for a hot minute. It's a Beyond Burger, but like a Beyond Burger that I could have made better for myself. Are these fries like... Whatever. It's good with the vegan but it's just a burger. I'd give it a B. I would say it's a C. Maybe a C. It's the only trade-off for me, it's like the fried pickles on the other one, and then this one had the vegan ace. Mm. So it's like the same. If you could put those together and get better buns, then you'd be in business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, do it right here. Right here. It turns Wait, to right dust. Here. Can I give it a C, C plus? Yeah. I'm gonna give it a C, and the other one gets a B. Because the fried pickles, at least, were a little pizzazz, a little different. Keep biting it though. I mean, I'm gonna do it. I'm paying for it. Finally, in Hogsmeade, which is what I've been looking forward to this whole time. And they have a vegan shepherd's pie, and I'm gonna scream and cry. And they once. also have the asparagus vegetable platter, which so, is what we thought we were gonna get. Which is what our friend Jessica recommended. Ooh. So we're gonna do both. What is this? What happened here? Is this a shepherd's pie? The pie's inside. Are they trying to play games with me? Because that's how the other ones look, remember? They all are the size. Superhero. Wait, but I'm being genuinely serious when I'll I use say. My it's oh. interesting. It does not look like shepherd's pie. It looks like right. a Beyond Burger. All right, well, let's see. Let's try it. Okay, so the mashed potatoes have butter in them. They couldn't get vegan butter out here, unfortunately. It was too far because we live in LA. Hard to get. Oh, right, we're in Hogsmeade. That's right, that's right. You're right, you're right. Okay. All we've been eating today is Beyond Burger. Is it Beyond Me? Yes. I want this to work. But this is not shepherd's pie. I don't like it. Normally shepherd's pie is like potatoes and peas and onions. Do you see that? Fresh out of something. I don't think it's bad. Okay. It's a little weird. The texture's a little a little weird. I'm not a fan. I would honestly probably give this like a D or a C. No way. I like it. I would okay. not give that a D. I'm just saying a shepherd's pie is not scalloped potatoes on top of a gelatinous well, it's, Mass. it's the vegan option of the shepherd's pie, though. Then don't call it a shepherd's they pie. Say, I personally love scalloped potatoes, so I'm not complaining about that. And I think that the thing inside is good. A little reminiscent of cat food, especially the shape of it. So I'm giving this a C. I would give this a, I would give this a B. I almost would give this an A, honestly. I like it. The butterbeer is good. First of all, you pay how much for this? $8.50. Eight fifty. Eight fifty oh, for this baseline. And then you have to pay $14 to add a shot of something in. $14. Which I did. And it's still pretty good. If you're looking for the experience of being in Hogsmeade, this gets a B from me, but it probably would get an A for most people. I just don't like super sweet things. It's like a cream soda. Okay, now let's try this. Look at this fucking monster asparagus. Oh, that's look like oh. nicely oh. cooked asparagus. Oh my god. The cabbage is not good. Oh. It's very good. It's just there's no seasoning on it. It's just like not good. Asparagus. Mm. 
The asparagus is good. The asparagus is great. I'm gonna give it a B. I'm not gonna lie. Overall, the vegan experience, it's really nice that they have options here. I love that they have vegan butterbeer, but overall, like a B. Unfortunately, I'm gonna give this a C because the cabbages taste like water. It's waterlogged. The asparagus stalks are very thick and the peas are mealy. Fair. There you have it. Oh wait, I didn't individually. Okay, B, C. I'll give that a B. Your C, B. Wonderful. Exciting. We're stuck in front of this dimension. Rachel and I are in the front of the flight of the hippogriff. Big buck, big girls here. Oh, my God. Okay, so we got the vegan option, which is the vegetable skewer at Jurassic Cafe. Not gonna lie, the photo makes it look voluptuous, and the reality of it is pretty pathetic. This was $16 and something cents, and I'm positive it cost them about $2 to make. It's like rice and sad overcooked vegetables. What the fuck is this sad little character? Rachel's being positive and trying to dress it up. This is our last one. It's fine. Not great. Dropped a whole piece of zucchini. It was like three dollars. The lady was also not very helpful when I asked her. I was like, "Is this vegan?" She goes, "It's at least vegetarian." As if that's like what I was asking. The vegetable skewers are bad. They're like dry and sad. Maybe be a D. I was just gonna say. Honestly, it might be a D. No, I think it is a D because for the price you pay, you get like no food. D for despicable taking my money like that. I don't know. I wouldn't. I kind of rather have this in the ramen in a way. I mean, the rice is good. The rice is really good. I'm gonna give it a C, because I kind of weirdly like it. Don't pay for this, please. That's not worth the money. Absolutely not. Well, it's our last one. Ending on a low note, but that's okay. Still very fun. Okay, kids, I'm not gonna lie. I had to rush home because I had to let Lucille out. I was worried about my little dog. She's just a little puppy. So we didn't conclude the video together, but it was a great day. Thank you, Rachel, for coming. Thank you, Aria, for filming. And thank you guys for watching. Also, I wanna say a quick thank you to Jessica. Thank you so much for hooking us up with an awesome time and a fantastic day. So special shout out to Jessica. Thank you so much. I hope you have a beautiful night or day or morning, whatever. <laughs>